Hey everyone, today we're going to talk about orders and repeats in Stitch Mastery. So it's really quite simple. The first thing you're going to do is select the stitches you want to place in the repeat. So you can just click one, hold shift, click a second one, and it selects everything in that box. Then you go up to repeat and you just click place stitches in selection into a repeat. Then you select the type of denotion you want in the written, whether you want round brackets or whether you want an asterisk. So let's do round back brackets. Let's add a qualifier. So we'll do it four times, add a border to the repeat, give it a name. And there you go. Then to edit the border, you click on it go up to the menu, click border, edit border properties. And this is where you can change the name. You can change which sides it shows up on. So if you want just top and bottom or just the sides, you can click and unclick these boxes. You can change the color. You can change the line style. You can make it thicker, which is something I like to do. And you can move the border inwards. So by moving these up, making these numbers higher, you move the border in inwards. So I'll just show you what that means. So you can see now it's inside the lines and so you can change it so it's slightly inwards. Now, why would you wanna do that? Apart from just aesthetics, let's go back and make them all one. Okay. Then let's say that for some reason we want to separate and have two different pattern repeats. So we can select, let's say this top group of stitches. You can remove the border and then you can add a new border. Okay, now nothing has changed with the repeats because we haven't removed the repeat. Repeat is what happens in the written instructions and border is what happens on the chart itself. So I'm gonna select this. I'm gonna edit the border properties. We'll call it pattern repeat two. We'll change it to a blue color. We'll again, make it a little bit thicker and we'll leave everything else the same. Now you can see what happened. Where the blue line and the red line meet, the red line completely disappears and so this might be a little bit confusing for a knitter or just might not look the way you want it. And so what you would do is you'd go to pattern repeat one, you'd edit the border properties, and we wanna move the top line inwards. So that's the north side. And then we'll do the same on pattern repeat two. This time it's the south side. We'll move that one in a little bit. And now you can have two distinct lines. Now, if you want to change the pattern repeat, you need to select the stitches. You go up to repeat and you can remove all of the stitches from the repeat. So now if you look at the written instructions for the stitches that I selected, the repeat is gone. You can select them and put them into a different repeat. So let's say this one is done five times. Okay, and so now you can see the written has updated, the bottom repeat is worked four times, the top repeat is worked five times. Now, you don't just have to have your repeats be even, like they don't have to be square. Let's say we want to take this cable out of the repeat. I like to first remove the border. So it's just border menu, remove border. And then what I like to do is select all of the stitches and remove the repeat from all of the stitches and then put it back onto the new stitches. So let's make this six times so we can see it. So now instead of just writing repeat, you know, seven stitches six times, it's just put a knit 42, but you can see it's changed it so that these stitches are repeated more times. You can also add stitches 
into the border. Make sure you select the right one. So the one we want is pattern repeat two. And now you can also add these stitches to the repeat. So if we just place these into a repeat and we also do it seven times, you see if we do it that way, the instructions aren't quite right. What it's done is it's treated this as two different repeats, right? It's repeated these first seven stitches seven times, and then it's repeated these last two stitches seven times. Not quite what we were intending. So you need to, if you want to change repeats, you need to remove all of the repeats in question, and then you need to add them again. Okay, now you'll notice that because we adjusted the border to be a little bit inwards at the top of this red one, it's, it's showing as a little bit in on these images in the key. So there is a way around this. If you just select a stitch and place a border on it, and let's select another one and place a new border on it. Okay, then we're going to edit these. Pattern repeat one, make it a three, edit this one, pattern repeat two, make it that blue color. Now, to get it exactly right, you can use this eyedropper tool. There we go, get it the exact same shade of blue. <laughs> Um, and then make that a three. Okay, so then you can select these first two borders, go to edit, hide selection. Then select these two stitches and remove the borders. And there you go. Let's zoom back out. So that is borders and repeats. The thing to be most careful of is when you are doing repeats to keep checking your written instructions and making sure what you think is supposed to happen is happening because um, Stitch Mastery literally just treats your repeat as if that's exactly what you wanna do. So if I select this cable and then I put it into a repeat and I said, um, repeat it 20 times. You'll see it's now, if you look at this output text, it's now nested that repeat. So it's having you do the cable 20 times, then the seven stitches, um, and then repeating that whole thing four times because that's how we did it. We set the big repeat first and then we set the smaller repeat. So and then if I click that stitch, and I remove it, it removes the 20, it keeps it in with the bigger one. So if you want to remove a repeat, select all of the stitches that were in that repeat, then select the stitches um, in the new repeat. Okay, so if you have any questions, just leave a comment below, and thank you very much for watching.